So uh, let's get to some general platform stuff here as, as some questions are uh, rolling in here. Um, so what? Let, give me kind of a crash course on what you stand for uh, in regards to healthcare, in regards to education, in regards to the environment, uh, living wages. Uh, let's just kind of start there. Okay. Well, I'm a blue collar kid. My dad was a machinist. My mom was a dress clerk. We uh, lived at a time though where uh, people really believed in the future of their kids. And so what happened was that I had a fabulous life because I had a wonderful education. They were able to buy their first home. They bought a little house that cost more because the schools were better. They sent me to school. And when I got to the legislature, I had had an amazing career. I'd been a college professor. I'd been a, I'd worked in the, some uh, accounting department and in a corporate plan put role and then I was a member of the city council in Union City and we did some amazing work there I got to go to the legislature I got to go to be the first and only woman to be the superintendent of schools in all of those capacities I have focused on certain core values that I think come out of my blue collar experience first and foremost that everybody ought to be able to buy a house right now in California the number of homeless is ridiculous we are the richest state in the richest country on earth we need a full court press not only to build housing but to get rid of Costa Hawkins which is the uh, bill that was passed that prevents rent control I believe that we absolutely must have a full court press on housing. We got to have health care for all. I support SB 562. I believe that we ought to have the equivalent of Medicare for all. And, and I, of course, believe in a ban on fracking. I am a life member of the Sierra Club. I belong to every major environmental group you can think of, League of the Conservation Voters, Save San Francisco Bay Association, which I belong to since graduate school. I put my money where my mouth is, and I honestly think we had earthquakes before they were fashionable fashionable have fracking in California uh, has a, a couple of really dumb parts to it one of them is that it promotes earthquakes and the other one is it puts polluted water into our ground and last but certainly not least as a kid who had this amazing opportunity to go to the University of California even though my parents were blue collar because tuition was free the, the fees that you see at that time were eighty-two fifty a semester, eighty-two dollars and fifty cents a semester, and that included my health insurance. The my best friend went to San Jose State. It, it was forty-two dollars to go to the state university, and community colleges were absolutely free. So I believe that we ought to pay for uh, child development for every kid. We ought to have. Uh, universal preschool for every child. We ought to have mandatory full day kindergarten. A lot of people don't realize kindergarten is not mandatory. We're 41st in per pupil spending, bottom 10 of the 50 states. We ought to be in the top 10 of the 50 states. Budgets are statements of values. We're number one in per prisoner expenditure, number 41 in per pupil. That's ridiculous. And of course, in addition to making college tuition free again, we ought to be investing in building new colleges and new universities and rebuilding some of our older campuses that are that are that have real serious problems with out of date facilities. All right. I, yeah, that, that covered some good ground and uh, I'm pretty much on board with everything you said. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash ronplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.